Hello guys, it's Lincoln Time Empire here, and um, I'm in Borderlands 1 right now. So, if you guys did not know, during the month of March, if you add Xbox Live, um, Xbox Gold, you were able to... Oh my god. You were able to um, install Borderlands for completely free. Um, holy shit, so that's why you don't say freaking Xbox. Okay. Well, um, since installing said game, being Borderlands, I've already hit level 35 on my favorite character in the game, being Brett, who is the deep stick of the game. He's also the melee character, and he's just a shitload of fun. Um, I've also worked on the other characters minorly, um, and for those of you who don't already know, the, uh, this is just being used as a time waster, basically, and just something to have fun in, until April 12th. Which is when the um, Destiny April update comes out for Lady Prison and other stuff. And I will be doing a lot of content on that, including streams where I can carry people through. Um, also, the urgent update and uh, a couple of new things for the Dark Zone come out for the Division. So, I'm going to be getting that as well. And I'm very excited about that. So, um,. That's something coming up soon. But as of right now, if any of you have Borderlands 1 on the Xbox One um, via the 360 download or even 360 version, um, that's great. Uh, if you would like to hop in, you can have some fun. Um, I already completed playthrough 1 earlier today and I'm working on the Holodome DLC. Uh, the free version of the game also comes with all DLC, um, which is pretty cool. And in a little less than 14 hours, let's just take a look at all the loot I've acquired. Because it's pretty crazy. I've gotten one of the best um, legendaries in game, Hellfire. A pretty good Uridine Blaster, which is just practical. Um, a really good shotgun, pretty good pistol, and another pretty good pistol. And that's just some crap I have to sell there. But um, I'll be doing some build videos on this. And then, if you guys do not remember, I fell in love with Borderlands via Borderlands 2 and Borderlands pre sequel there's going to be some new builds coming up for Zero and Krieg, Maya, Guns Earth, and all that good shit. Um, probably gonna be... What's his name? Not remember the name. Oh, Gabe as well. Might be some content for Gabe. But, um, if you have those games, please tell me in the comments. That'd be great. But, um, I'm going to be doing some stuff that as well. Um, for those of you who don't know, I also got Steam, like the number on Steam, you can add me. I'll be playing TF2, uh, Windows 1, Windows 2, and Division. That's about it there. I'm not getting pre sequel there. My opinion would be a waste of money. The pre sequel's an okay game, but I don't need it on a second level. Really good part. I have completed the um, main game for Borderlands pre sequel. Not playthrough two, not from World Hunter or Ultimate World Hunter. So I do have to work on those. Um, if you guys are brick, you use Gen Health and you go through your ability, and you also move faster, and I'll be showing you guys like which in a moment. But I use it to gain health here, max up that, and then I run around looking for the thing, which I didn't find anything, so that's nice. But um, one of the glitches that I found in the game. So you see how I have my skill, by the way. only 30 seconds when you have the skill that when you have a short fuse up. But um, basically, I'm going to go into this, go into the last in this, hit this, and the rest of the time I'm in this circle. Um, which is really good for all the missions and stuff, and it's pretty awful, and I would definitely say use it. Um, so I'm just gonna leave the footage here, we'll see what goes on, and this is pretty much just gonna be a review of the Hellfire for the rest of the video, and some underground tips as well. So, as you can see, the Hellfire is just a bit and this is a pretty low level Hellfire as well. This isn't like a level 35 Hellfire, it's a relatively low level Hellfire. But, um, okay. I need some help, so let's go through that. And this is the Horde Wave of, wait, uh, Horde Round of Wave 1 in the Angelic Roots. 
which is the second area that you're suggested to go in the hollow dome. I do suggest that you go in a second. Because you will want to increase that. Alright, I said increase again. No, I don't need ammo drops, so I don't need drops, so I do need ammo drops. I don't need money drops. Sorry, I don't need health drops. My fault. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I've been streaming on Twitch. Please follow me, I'm going to be streaming in about a couple seconds. Um, so yeah, that'll be nice as well. So, uh, pick me up there, guys. Um, see you around. And there's going to be some new content coming up now, pretty much daily. Uh, between Borderlands, Destiny, uh, The Division, Ben vs. Zombies, Ben vs. 2, Ben vs. 1, Stars Battlefront, and Lego Star Wars, and Sea Fortress 2 every now and then. Uh, Steve, so if you guys uh, want, just go over and send me a uh, friend. Um, if you have an Xbox 60 or an Xbox One on any of those games, I should be able to play with you. So that would be fun. So what else? this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a good day.